Good morning. Good morning. Today, uh, we are back at Hollywood Studios. So we're gonna go and queue for Rock and Roller Coaster, which is another coaster we haven't done here yet. Yep. And then we're gonna go to our Hollywood Tower of Terror. Lightning Lane. Uh, Lightning Lane. We don't even know where this day is gonna take us. We don't know where we're gonna be and what we're gonna do. So, um, yeah, it's gonna be quite fun in that respect. Because we're just gonna go for it and just see what happens. There is no plan today. <laughs> there is one plan. And you don't know anything about it. Don't I? No. Oh, what is it? We have, well, Rob has a book in at Droid Depot. Oh. To go and build a droid. So that's booked in for 220. Um, I. You told me there wasn't any bookings for it. <laughs> yes, I did. I felt like rubbish last week, so I was like, how have we missed this? How have we not booked this? I've been saying for months that I want to do it. How have we not got this booked in? This is ridiculous. I was just thinking, oh. In all fairness, I did have an absolute nightmare trying to book it. If you're in the UK, um, oh my there was God, some so kind exciting. of... I am so excited. There that was some ridiculous. kind of error with the My Disney Experience website um, in that if you were trying to book from the UK, you couldn't book a slot and uh, luckily I have a VPN and I was able to call up Disney and say look can you unlock my account um, so that I can book it and they said yeah um, and I was able to book it remember that day when I went outside I wouldn't tell you what I was on the phone for yeah that was that so this has been booked in for a long time I just told him that there was none available because I wanted to surprise him with it oh I'm well chuffed now I'm well excited I was thinking there wasn't gonna, we wasn't going to be able to do that <laughs> So How yeah. am I going to get it home? <laughs> I haven't thought you can that carry it on. Can I? Yeah, you can carry it on. With I've, my bag. I've already um, done the research. Yeah, apparently Virgin are quite happy for you just to carry it on. But it will potentially fit in our cabin bags anyway, so depending which one you oh, do. Oh no, now I've got a big decision to make. Do I want one looking like R2-D2? Do you want an R2-D2 or, or, or do BB you want BB do you want BB-8? BB-8. Oh, decisions, decisions. Oh, I didn't even know that that was happening. I'm well excited. Oh, that's, oh, that's, I'm really chuffed sure with that now. Good. I hope you will be. So we're going to shoot off now to Rock and Roller Coaster to give that a go. What's the um, queue time for that? I'm going to check now because it's only 15 minutes into our lightning lane, so. Because we've, uh... oh, it's only half an hour, we can do that. Okay, so we'll go and do Rock and Roller Coaster now. Let's go. Let's go. Make 
make it a super stretch. Pray. Excuse me. Okay, folks. Look, the show is all the way across town. But I got you a really fast car. Okay, wait. It's up the alley. Hey, guys. You were the passengers in the ocean common elevator about to ascend into your very own atmosphere. So just placed our mobile order for breakfast at Ronto Roasters. So we're going to head in there now. We've got two morning Ronto wraps, which, yeah, really good. So we're going to go back for them. We're going to get a large Coke Zero to share. The total came to 31.98, including tax. And when we get there, I just need to, which we're here now, I'm going to click, I'm here to prepare my order. Or tap. And then once it's ready, they'll just tell me which window to pick it up from. This mobile order thing on the app is really easy. Of course we're having Ronto wraps again. Yes we are. So I'm gonna go and find somewhere for us to sit or perch or crouch or lean. So I found this little area here right on the edge, almost the same place as last time, to perch and uh, have our Ronto wraps. A lot of ice in there. So hot today, dehydrating all over the shop. Ridiculously hot. So we've been on our rock and roller coaster and then we jumped straight into our lightning lane for Tower of Terror. 
how did you find Tarotera here? Absolutely loved it. We have to go on that again before we leave. It's different, isn't it? Yeah, very. There's a whole other scene in that one uh, that isn't on the one at uh, Paris. Yeah, what does the studio in Paris? Yeah. Um, yeah, that is. Or, or, I just love it. I love everything about that ride, the set pieces, the theming, the ride itself. Well, Uniforms they really wear. Good. Yeah. All it's just it. really cool, isn't it? That oldie worldy, like 1920s. Yeah. Golden uh, Age of Hollywood. Golden Age of Hollywood, yeah, like 1930s. It like it's been abandoned and left. Yeah, abandoned hotel. Yeah, it's, it's just brilliant. And yeah, the ride experience on that one is a lot, lot better than the one you get at Paris. Yeah. Um, just a little bit more to it, I suppose. But the, the, the overall theme, theme and the, the level of theming, I'd say, is about the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just that little extra ride experience that is, is here. But I don't believe it was in California before it got changed to Guardians, was I it? I don't think so. I think this is the only one that has... Sure this is the only one that's got This the is the only one that has that extra experience. Element. Where the train, where the, the, um, the gondola you're in moves out of the yeah. moves out and actually moves across the floor um, so yeah that was really good so we just grabbed our Ronto wrap and we're now heading back out of Galaxy's Edge because we're going to go and watch the Beauty and the Beast live show and one is at 11 o'clock so we're going to go and watch that uh, so we'll see you there the spell have you broken? if not he would be doomed to remain a beast for all time. Esteemed madams and monsieur, it is with deepest pride and greatest pleasure that we welcome you. And now, we invite you to relax, pull up a chair, as the dining room proudly presents... Your dinner. Can I get a Sprite and a Diet Coke, please? Sprite and a Diet? It's going to be How many books have you done it? We got the souvenir Star Wars bowls. So we've got Diet Coke and a Sprite. 12 credits for both of them. Just if I wanted my cargo slip, I declined. How many is there to collect? It's just the three, isn't there? Just the three. There's Dasani as well, which is just water, but the bottle's not very cool. It just looks like a standard Dasani bottle with a different label. So we've just come off Rise of the Resistance, so we queued for it. It said, what was it? said an hour and 45 over, minutes. Yeah, about an hour and 45 minutes. I think we queued one hour 20, yeah. so it, the time has been overestimated, which is great. Uh, big fan of that. Um, we've just been on it and seen a slightly different ride than what we saw yeah. the last two times we rode it. Yeah. So without giving too much away on it, I suppose, there is a scene towards the end where um, where this time we got there and there's an animatronic of Carlo Ren that comes up and a TIE fighter comes flying in and smashes into him yeah. and he gets sucked out and then the ceiling falls on him which yeah. is absolutely amazing incredible incredible the way they've done that absolutely the last incredible. two times we've rode it it hasn't done that the last two times we've rode it we it spun, shows we Carlo Ren in a shift didn't it yeah we spun round and it shows a video a video of Carlo Ren in the TIE fighter and yeah. he shoots at you and something crashes into him all that all that section is now missing 
and there's an animatronic of Kylo stood there. Yeah. Basically, he has a go at you, shouts at you a little bit, and then a TIE fighter comes flying into the window and takes him out. So there's two different endings there, yeah. and we're just trying to understand why there are two different endings yeah. and why we've just got that ending today, and why we've cut and why the last two times we rode it, there's been a different ending. Yeah. We're not 100% sure why. From what I've read, because I'm a geek, I think that's A mode and B mode. Yeah. From what I understand, B mode is like the, the backup mode if something goes wrong or if something's not working, you get B mode. Um, and the past two times, I think we've had B mode. Yeah. So I just assumed that that was it and potentially something was broken from what I've read. Um, but that was absolutely amazing. It, see, was it seems to me, when we popped out yeah, it seems to me like what we've just got is the full ride. That's, that's that what they, it should be doing. Is the full ride that they've built. That's what they wanted it to yeah. do. And I feel like the two rides we've had before is kind of like a backup plan in yeah. case something on that ending doesn't work properly. Yeah. That's a, you know having him appear on the screens in a as if he's outside in a tie fighter is the backup. Yeah. If something goes wrong. This ride is so intelligent and is so like complex IT wise, animatronic wise. Yeah. It's just amazing. And I'd be so interested to learn more about how they've done this. I'd be so interested to learn more about why those two different endings appear. Why do you get those two different endings? So if anyone knows, please pop it down in the comments yeah. um, as to why that is and what happens i'm a big big I, I love to i love experiences but i also love to know how they work as well it's a big thing of mine i love to know how you've just how how have you achieved that because that is just blown me away yeah. so i'd love to know the difference between the endings as to why you get one or the other i doubt very much it's random no because, i think it's random yeah because i feel like one ending is more superior than the other yeah so I feel like the screen ending is just like a backup. Oh, things have gone wrong. Here's a backup so we can get you through so that the ride hasn't got to go down or anything like that. But yeah, yeah I'd definitely, if anyone knows, let comment down know. below and let us know yeah. why the different endings. I, mean, I will try and find out myself. I will look it up. The past two times we went on it, it went down just before we went on it, didn't it? Yeah. It so, had been going down. So is yeah. it something to do with that? It hasn't gone down yet today as far as I'm aware. Mm, yeah, um, yeah. So is it potentially something to do with that? Yeah, so is that running on full full offering now, today? That was and the other two times we've rode it, it's had problems and it's had to refer to a backup ending. That's what we think it yeah. might be. But if you know, let us know. Or, yeah, or you have your own ideas, let us know what you think. Yeah. That was, don't, don't, get, us, like, don't get us wrong, the both rides are incredible. Yeah. But that ending we've just had has just blown me away completely. Yeah, it's amazing. So that that was awesome because that may that may be the last time we ride it this trip. Potentially. Potentially. Unless we pay for a lightning lane, which I'm really considering doing. Yeah, but yeah me too. that might be the last time we ride it this trip. So I'm really glad we got that ending. We got to see that before before we we go back. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so awesome. But like I said, if you know anything about this, comment down below because I'd be very interested to know a little bit more yeah, about it. Me too. So next we are, we've got a lining lane for Mickey Minis. Yep. So we're going to shoot over there now. We're do that now. And jump in that. Um, after that. And then after that. It's droid time. We might, we might have time to grab something for lunch, but yeah, then it's droid, droid time. time. How exciting. So, let's go ride Mickey and Minis. <laughs> You decided which one you want to build yet? No. So the lady said that you can either do the BB unit or the R2D2 unit. I don't think that's the type of thing. Um, they're all the different colour combinations. And she said, if you want to put the personality chip in it, so it's 100 credits just for the unit. If you want to put the personality chip in it, that's, and you get a, a backpack for it as well, that's an extra 75 credits. Um, and all it does is change the voice, so it's up to you. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, whichever one we did this time, we can do the other one next time. Now you just need to pick colours. That's like classic R2D2, isn't it? Boring. Not necessarily. Could do black and blue. So yeah, they've got the one from Rise of Resistance as well. I might do black and orange or black and blue. Black and blue would be cool, I think. The concentration. Blue, black and blue or black and that blue? I would say black and then that blue. Oh. The cool thing about these ones is you can see the inner workings of the head, yeah. but the head's not that actually that complicated, it's just a piece of plastic. So I'll have the silver one then? I think so. I think that's cooler. So what, black and the silver blue? Yeah, I think so. How are you doing today? Absolutely. Can I get a last name? Are we building an R unit or a BB unit? R unit. Absolutely. And do we want to upgrade to the bundle today? Alrighty, my friend. So our personality chips here. This one right here is going to be bubbly, excited, happy. This one right here is going to be your cool guy in life. He's happy, chilling, no complaints in his life. This one right here I like to refer to as Ben Solo. Reason being, he's mad at the world, but he's not yet a bad guy. And this one right here is going to be Kylo Ren's attitude for you. He's just mad at the world, kind of like Vader. Bubbly energetic, that's my favorite. <laughs> So it's really cool, it's kind of like a conveyor belt and all the parts just keep coming past and you put them together yourself. Alright, so you're grabbing four pieces, a head, a body, one pair of legs and the middle foot. Kind of there's a screen right there, just in case you need that. There's your black body if you want to grab that. Yeah. This one? Yeah. Just make sure there's no defects or damage on it. We know how much you hate defects. I hate things that are broken. Any scratches or marks, he gets mad. So I have that. Then I want this. It, well, put it together and see if you like the combination. Can you take it apart again? Just hold it over the top. Oh, look good. I think it looks good, but try with the clear one when the clear one comes past if you want. That does look good. Does that look better? <laughs> I don't know if this is the blue I like. Why? Because I like blue, don't I? But yeah. But I also like black and orange. You do. You decided. So your black legs. Yeah. So my black legs. Are you going for orange? I don't know. Which is better? The orange is brighter, but I do like the blue. I'll try that then if you want. That is cool. Is that better? What do you think? Oh. Oh, same. It's the same. Oh, same. Right, you have to have a decide which one do you like best. Yeah. I think either that one or that one. Which one? So not this one. No, either of those two, I think. Two. Yeah. Which one do you prefer, the clear or the, the silver? I like going this one. Okay. So there's a build station over there. We take the stuff over. Yeah. 
Kelly Clay. Nah, you're good, you're good. <laughs> Kelly Clay. My accessories is for them. <laughs> That's so cool. It's nifty. Is it? Yeah. The dog's going to be chasing that. Yeah, no. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and open the tap on that side over here. We're going to be a hard push on the personality. It's got the matter which way. Thank, Thank you, you. safe travels. Wow. Happy? Uh, I think that's like one of the coolest things I've ever done. <laughs> I love this place. We are coming back here. This is amazing. And next talk time, I'm building the BB-8. We talk to each other. That's really cool. Don't listen to it. The remote's off. It's amazing. So because they're close to, because it's close to these ones? It's because it's close to other people's Oh, other people's droids. Yeah, so when everything was going wrong with trying to book and I spoke to Disney on the phone, um, she did say that you can just come in and buy the droid, buy the droid units without making them. This is not the droid we're looking for. Exactly. This is not the droid we're looking for. This is not the droid you're looking for. Exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I wanted Rob to be able to do the whole experience. Uh, trying to see how much these are. So if you were to come in and buy this one, that's $119. How much is the BB-8? It says on the bottom. And if you were to come in and buy BB-8, that's $99.99 plus tax. That's the same price as the experience, so if you can get the experience, do that, because how cool is that? This place is amazing, it's like Build-A-Bear Workshop, but for droids. That's exactly what it is, it's isn't it? it? Yeah, it's Build-A-Bear Workshop. It's Build-A-Bear Workshop for, but, but adults. for adults. <laughs> it's amazing. So we just walked past the droids, and Rob's droids started interacting with them. Cool. Really cool, I love it. Did she say like he might react, he's just happy to be outside or something? Yeah. Like when I was putting the chip in, I was like, oh my god, you've got to really, you've got to really push, shove it. Yeah. And I was scared in case I did it and I just snapped the chip or something. So, having left Droid Depot or Depot, depending where you're from. We had a lightning lane for Toy Story Mania, so we're just going to jump on that now. Once we've done that, we have another reservation at. Oh, it's cool in here. That's nice, actually, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's really hot today. Where's our reservation? Ogre's Cantina. There we go, we're back now. Uh, yeah, we have another reservation at Ogre's, so we're going to head and do that. After that, we'll probably take the droid back to the room. Um, yeah, because I don't want him damaged or yeah. 
try and shove him on rides and stuff Unfortunately, like that. the... I've now got two bags with me, so... Exactly. Unfortunately, the return... The, the service where they take your purchases back to the resort for you hasn't yet returned for whatever reason, probably short on staff or something. But yeah, no, that's not back yet, so... At the moment, if you buy anything, you have to carry it around with you all day. So yeah, we'll, we'll just pack it back to the resort. And then after that, we may head on over to a different park. Harrison, you guys are going to follow me inside. You have 45 minutes inside the cantina. You're going to be standing at one of our high top tables today. You're going to be sharing this with others. Just keep in mind, you don't want to pay your debt, okay? Once you're done paying your debt, you can wander around to get these bottles. Okay, we're already at the spot. I've had a Jabba juice uh, because I didn't have a photo of my passport on my phone um, and I was ID'd so they have to have your driving license and a copy of your passport. I now have both because I had a copy on my iCloud. Sounds like a new rule. I now have both because I have a copy on my iCloud so I've downloaded it and I'm going to order something else afterwards. But yeah, so far the Jabba juice is lovely so. Our second drinks have just arrived. The best bin fizz. So it smells really strong. Uh, rum, pomegranate juice, um, a few other syrups and stuff. But yeah, they look great. Can you drink it when it's bubbling? Yeah. So we're just leaving Hollywood Studios now. We are going to back to the resort. Rob's going to drop his droid off. Potentially change t-shirts and stuff just because it's really hot today. I think it's like 34, 35 degrees today. Um, so we're going to drop the droid off, potentially freshen up a little bit. Once we've done that, we'll head back here. We have a dinner reservation tonight at Hollywood Brown Derby at five to seven. So we'll come to that. Um, I think the plan for now is to get the Skyliner over to Epcot purely because we want to get the Skyliner. Get the bus back from Epcot to the resort and then we'll come back to Hollywood Studios. After that, we're going to park up over to Magic Kingdom, I think. Potentially be there in time for all Harmonious, not Harmonious, Enchantment. Potentially be there in time for Enchantment. Uh, if we are, we might watch that. We might also try and get a few night rides and nighttime photos and stuff in instead. Um, and just really make the most of the evening. So yeah, off to the Skyliner. Yes. Wow. So we're back in the room, made a quick freshen up, dropped the droid off because we didn't want to be carrying it around with us all evening. So we are now going to head back out to Hollywood Studios and we are going for dinner at Hollywood Brown Derby. Oh, 
Just don't tell Pluto. Let's take a look inside the theater. So we finished our dinner at the Hollywood Brown Derby and went straight over and grabbed that lightning lane from earlier uh, for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Yeah. As soon as we came out of there, the show started for Wonderful World of Animation. Wonderful World of Animation. So we stood and watched that 15 minutes um, and then literally as soon as that was finished, the park was closed. So we, we've come out of the park and we're now stood in the bus terminal waiting for a bus to the Magic Kingdom so we can jump on a ride or two over there and maybe get some photos um, without photo pass. Without photo pass as well. Um, so we're just going to hang on here and wait for the bus and until the bus comes. Pulling in now. Oh is it? Where? It's about to. It's just coming that corner. There it is. Oh cool. So coming in now is the bus to the Magic Kingdom. Weirdly, the Magic Kingdom shuts at 10 o'clock tonight. We're not sure why. First time so in two weeks. Yeah, it's shutting an hour early. We don't know why that is. So we've got a lightning lane for... Big Thunder. Big Thunder, <laughs> you forgot. Big Thunder Mountain. Uh, so we'll go and grab that when we get there. Here comes the bus. Ta-da! Yeah, but I was carrying Sierra. You didn't get that bit. So we made it to Magic Kingdom. We have a lightning lane for Big Thunder Mountain. When we got here, it was a wall of people because enchantment was just finished. We made it through that all the way to Frontierland to ride to back to Big Thunder Mountain in 12 minutes. I turned to pretty good going. Knackered now. Absolutely gone. Be worth it for a night ride on Big Thunder Mountain. Let's rise. So we made it back to the resort then. Um, man, what a day! Absolutely knackered. <laughs> you look tired. You I'm look, exhausted. You so tired. Yeah, you look it. <laughs> <laughs> My poor feet. It's been an amazing day though. Hollywood Tower of Terror, first thing this morning was a highlight, definitely. Mm -hmm. Really enjoyed Hollywood Studios again. Had a great day. Yeah. Uh, dinner at the Hollywood Brown Derby. It was really good, wasn't it? Probably the best meal we've had on this holiday, I think. Mm, yeah. I'd probably go with that. Yeah, definitely recommend us. But again, if you like your food, it's a really nice setting. It's the staff are all great in there um if you like good food and you're in the parks definitely recommend that but yeah what's been your highlight of the day what do you think my highlight of the day has been droid defo droid <laughs> i love the droid absolutely brilliant we haven't played with them yet so we'll probably play with them at some point uh, my highlight was another ride on rise and getting that ending that we got yeah and then the droid depot, depot, was also my highlight. It's been a really, really good day. I really, really enjoyed it. It's been really, really hot today. Though. Really hot. Really hot. So it's absolutely tired us out. But overall, um, it's been another absolutely amazing day. Yeah. Loving every minute. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else, no, regardless no. of how tired I am. No, how much my feet hurt, I would not want to be anywhere else or no, doing no. anything else. So with that said, I think it's time to say goodnight. It is time to say goodnight. 
So thank you very much for watching if you've got this far. If you Thanks. did enjoy this video, thank you so much. Give us a thumbs up. If you have been to Droid Depot or Droid Depot, drop us a comment below so let us know what you think. What did you call your droid? Yeah, let us I know. I can't think of a name. Let us yes. know some names. Yeah. Um, if you've ever eaten at Hollywood Brown Derby, um, let us know if you agree. But yeah, if you have been enjoying the content, please subscribe to the channel. Really help us out. And thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you tomorrow. Adios. Good night, friends.